What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Green and my camera's a little shaky today. Sorry. I'm on the move. I just got in from work. Still got my work clothes on. I'm going to get changed up and today we're going to be talking about something pretty special and kind of talking about a direction that we're going to go with this channel and I hope you guys like it because it's going to be super fun, super adventurous. Uh, it's going to take some time but I got a pretty good idea of how I kind of want to take this channel and mold it and turn it into something. So let me get changed clothes and we're going to hit the road and we're going to kind of talk about things. But I'm going to give you some clues until we get to what we're going to be talking about. So let me go change clothes and stop the shaky camera. Sorry, I'm doing the whole Joby Gorilla Pod thing and the one I have just isn't the right size for the big whopping you guys should see this i'm rocking a 6d mark ii with the dual battery extension on it it's a beast it's about the size of a 1dx and i've got the 28 to 70 canon uh f 2.8 so it's just super heavy and it's rocking and i'm gonna have peter mckinnon arm and, or quagmire arm you know one's gonna be really big anyways yeah we're gonna go get ready we'll see you guys all right so i'm changed now uh got my typical car hearts on Camo cargo shorts, yeah, I'm still in that trend. Whatever it is, what it is. And I got my Crocs on, now don't make fun of my Crocs. They're not really Crocs. They're Amazon off-brand Crocs, but I promise you, they're way more comfortable. Um, yeah, I'll leave a link for these things down below. Let me just go ahead and show you. Pretty proud of these. Uh, this is my dad, dad attire, but these are lighter than Crocs. They're actually a, a little different material. They're a lot more spongier. They're just all around more comfortable. You still have that nice leisure of not having to, I know this is going to sound super lazy, not having to tie your shoes. Um, they still breathe and they're just, yeah, they're amazing. Go check them out. Uh, but I figured I'd show you guys. I kind of got a EDC quick little thing here. This is what I go through. So tie bolt pin, check, eye drops. Been carrying eye drops for like 15 years. Check have this nice little uh, spider code dog tag blade uh, it comes on a necklace I obviously took it off but it's just nice compact goes in your pocket doesn't take up any space really been digging this thing lately check I got a nice little cute pair of uh, fingernail clippers check Trayvax wallet you all already know about that the contour best wallet ever hands down can of skull I know my wife hates it so don't leave me a comment tell me how bad it is got my Oakley's check cell phone with the UAG phone case iPhone X boom and I got my uh, Enzo key fob uh, I'm sorry my Enzo uh, carabiner titanium I got my key fob for my truck got my Gerber shard and that's basically it so now that we're ready to rock and roll let's go Anyhow, there, there is the super duper cheap Amazon Crocs. They're like, I don't know, less than 15 bucks. A-OK -okay in my book. Let's hit the road and let's talk about what we want to do with this channel. Alright, if you guys uh, haven't noticed already, I got a new truck. Um, sorry for the wiggly footage once again. I'm driving and probably not the safest thing. Um, got a new truck, 2016 Nissan Frontier. Um, 
and I want to I want to build an overland rig out of this. That's what today's video is. I want you guys to help me build an overland rig. Um, I, I want to go all out. Rooftop tent. I've done got one in mind, so I may not need the help there. But as far as everything else, there's a lot of good stuff online about the uh, frontiers, but there's a lot of stuff that's not. A lot of answers. I've got some guys that I've asked some questions to that have some current setups, but there's just not a lot of frontier overland, um, you know. Uh, content out there and i feel like this is something that could be really really awesome really good uh, direction to take this channel in a lot of fun for me and my family to go on these adventures film them and bring them to you guys so i'm really excited about it i need your guys help just flood the comments flood them down below um of some 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 ideas some gear some some parts that i could use but uh we're on the way to my parents' house, um, but uh, my little boy had his first day of, of first grade, so I'm going over here to see how his day was. Um, so let's head that way and we'll talk some more when we get there. We'll show you the truck. So, see ya. So I'm at my mom's, and let me, let me tell y'all something. When your mama calls and says she's got a home-cooked meal and she wants you to come eat, you go eat your mama's home-cooked meal. So I'm gonna go in here and grab a bite to eat, and we'll get back to the truck. So let's go uh, see what we got. All right, let's try this without knocking the camera over. Never done this before. Don't even know if it's possible, but Try to hop up here in one go. Well, maybe on the count of three. One, two. So, yeah, uh, got a new truck. Pretty excited about it. Want to build an overland rig out of it and a rooftop tent, you know, all the gear. Want to go camp and do family thing. Take you guys for along. So, uh, let me get down off the bed now and uh, let me show you guys the truck, show you what we're working with. And I am all ears hoping you guys can help me build this thing all right guys so here you go here is my 2016 nissan frontier it is the pro 4x edition so that just means it does come a little bit uh higher than the uh, factory you know se's and stuff it's got a little bit of a lift on it uh makes it set level already does have a little bit bigger beefier tire on it i really like these stock rims uh, maybe eventually would like to replace the rims but i do uh like those i think they look good nice and sleek kind of just have that sporty look to them it also has the bed rack on it so uh i'm sorry not the bed rack but the roof rack i am thinking about getting a bed rack i do have the windows tinted so they're pretty dark right now but yeah, I am. Uh, I'm really digging this truck. I've had uh, a lot of full-size trucks. I've had some, you know, Rams and uh, there you go, Pro 4X. I've had some Dodge Rams and and had multiple of those. But uh, yeah, this is my first, um, you know, kind of mid-size truck. So uh, let's open her up, check it out on the inside. It does come with all the bells and whistles. So as you can see, I got leather seats here. First, uh, we'll say first vehicle I've ever had leather in. Super, super dig it. I don't like that dinging noise. So let's get those keys out of there. Um, but yeah, like I said, I got the windows tinted. Um, it does have the leather package. It does have, <clears throat> let's just get in here where we can see. It does have the uh, sunroof on it. So uh, yeah, can uh, kick that bad boy back. Power windows all around, of course. We'll look at the back seat in a second. I do have the uh, backup camera system here. Uh, nothing too fancy. You know, these trucks have been basically the same truck since uh, 2004, but I got a pretty good deal on this one. Like I said, it's a 2016, and um, it's got pretty much everything you can get on these things. Um, you can see I got some nice big cup holders here. Um, <clears throat> has the uh, heated seats you can see four-wheel drive all that jazz 
Uh, but yeah, I am super, super digging this truck. Like I was saying, I want some sort of a system to kind of go here that I can like mount, you know, my, um, mount maybe my DSLR like in this area, maybe have a, uh, you know, a GoPro or a Osmo Action. I'm fixing to buy one of the two and then something to have my cell phone. I would like it to be an all like, you know, system type deal, interchangeable, you know, that kind of deal. Um, and then let's move on back to the back seat. These things actually have a pretty good amount of space in them considering what they are. Got a little trash, sorry, overlook it. Got my Bible and stuff back here. Um, but yeah, and you know, the seats fold up. This one does come with the uh, Rockford Fosgate system in it. It's got the, uh, the little 10 inch sub in the back. It rocks pretty hard, especially for what I want for it. Um, but I do have a rooftop 10 in mind and I'm gonna try to make it you know kind of go on to this system here that i already have and i eventually would like to put a bed rack on it that's some input that i need from you guys um so let's uh let me go ahead and get the camera turned back around facing me and uh, we'll do a little bit more talking here so uh there's the truck let me know what you think i think it uh have some really nice potential so let's turn this around all right guys so there's my truck i'm pretty excited about it um I've been kind of digging and diving into the overlanding thing. Um, I've had Jeeps before in the past. I've done some off-roading. Um, I'm not wanting to just dive straight in and go, you know, tackle like Moab and and things like that. I want to do some light off-roading, kind of maybe, you know, beef this thing up. So I've got a rooftop tent in mind. Uh, I've been talking to Overland Vehicle Systems. Um, they've got, you know, kind of a newer company out on the market. Um, got some really nice looking tents. I've been talking with them, trying to maybe work with them on, uh, you know, some uh, photography, videography type stuff here on the channel. Uh, seems like it's going to work out pretty good. I've looked at CVT and, you know, even Smitty built some of the cheaper ones. Um, I don't want to go too cheap, I've, even though the reviews on the Smit Smitty builds are pretty good. Uh, I just feel like this overlanding overland vehicle systems is is kind of maybe my best option so i've been talking with them hopefully it comes i've done got the roof rack on now the roof rack itself um the crossbars are not the strongest that's what makes this system weak but i think with the tent coming i can make it mount to the main bars um that run you know kind of parallel with the truck um as opposed to the cross member bars because that's what makes them weak so i'm looking at uh, doing that here very soon and uh be honest with you guys i'm a big amazon shopper i'll leave links down below for all the stuff like even the you know the crocs the fake crocs the frocks that i wear i should call them <laughs> um yeah, I'll, uh, I'm a big Amazon shopper, so I've been looking. That's how I come across the Overland uh, Vehicle Systems tent, the OVS tents. Um, they make two, three, four people tents, and I, I need a three-person tent at least, especially with my, my little family here. Riker's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger, and if I don't slow down, so am I. But that's a whole other story. Um, but yeah, I want to I want to take this frontier and make it an overlanding rig and I need your all's help I've looked up. There's some things out there, but everything in the overlanding world is just completely saturated with um, With you know, let's be honest. It's oversaturated with Jeeps and Toyotas and that's because you know I have nothing against those those are very very capable Vehicles especially the Jeeps and the Wranglers and you know the four-door, you know JLs and stuff like that very 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 um, you know, capable vehicles. Same thing with the Dakotas. I mean, my dad has a Dakota right there. Um, uh, Dakota, what am I even saying right now? Especially with the Toyota Tacoma. Don't start making words up, Justin. Um, the Tacomas, uh, you know, I love them. I just didn't want to pay what they're asking for them. Great vehicles, great trucks, last a long time. I just didn't want to give that. I got a great deal on this 2016 Nissan Frontier. And there's just not a much, there's not much overlanding, um, you know, content out there with these trucks. So I wanted to do that. I wanted to bring you guys the first overlanding um, frontier channel that actually goes into some detail, does some nice videography stuff that you guys are used to seeing here on the channel. Um, it's it, it's a blank canvas. I mean, like I said, other than it being a Pro 4X, um, it's a blank canvas. It's got a little bit of a lift on it. I'd like to go ahead and raise that up a little bit 
put some 33s on this thing. I like the stock wheels. Don't have to change those, but I'd like to put some uh, 33s on this. I'd like to add a bed rack uh, system, maybe even a, a hard top bed that I could mount the rack to so I could still have my, my security safety weatherproofing of the bed um, cover with a rack on it and eventually move the tent from where it's gonna be on the cab to the bed itself. That'll free up some more space up on the top of the roof. Not have to worry about that um, that frontier stock, you know, uh, roof rack system failing. Um, yeah, I wanna go all out. I wanna do, you know, bumpers. Uh, I wanna do, uh, you know, beef this thing up suspension wise eventually. Um, I wanna do all the inside, get uh, get everything laid out how I want it, make these camping trips, um, you know, really, really efficient. Um, like I said, uh, I'm not gonna go out and do nothing crazy from the start, especially with this truck being stock. Um, we're just gonna do basic camping trips. We're gonna go on a little bit of back roads, off-roading. I, I don't wanna go be an idiot and do something that's gonna get me stuck and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I wanna get this thing, I wanna get the tent and be able to go on adventures, bring you guys content, take my, you know, my little boy's climbing up on the truck now, but I wanna take, uh, I wanna take my family out and do something fun and put the content on the channel for you guys. And who knows, you know, maybe with enough support from you all, it'll eventually lead into something that could be really, really awesome. I hope it is. I hope you guys, um, you know, enjoy this kind of stuff. If, if you're watching this right now and this is gonna be, there's Riker, say hey. Um, Hello. If this is something that you guys are gonna be interested in, leave me a comment down below. Let me know right now. If this is something that you can help me with, leave me all the comments that you possibly can about what I should do, some ideas on things, what uh, cost efficient, because, you know, I, I don't, I, I have, I work a nine to five, well, not even a nine, nine to five. I work, you know, 50, 60, 70 hours like I did last week um, to provide for my family. So I can't just go out and blow a lot of money. If I buy this rooftop tent, that's gonna be something that I'm gonna to have to buy. And then I've gotta push, you know, I gotta push the other stuff back until I can save up money. So this is gonna be a process. Um, I thought about starting a Patreon account. I don't know if you guys know about that, but um, Patreon is basically, you can go on there and support me and support the channel, the content that I'm creating by, you know, being like a monthly subscriber and, you know, you'll get different types of rewards for different tiers. I don't know if I'm doing that yet. I set one up, I haven't made it live yet. Um, but it would help if you guys are interested in seeing more content more consistently, um, especially with this overlanding thing. Um, I think it would be great. OVS is, is I think, going to work with me, uh, Overland Vehicle Systems, on this tent. So they're going to help me out a little bit um, as far as maybe giving them some content in return. I don't know. I've got so, so many good ideas, and I just wanted to take this channel. Hey, don't rock too much because you're rocking the people on the camera, and they're like, oh, I'm getting sick. <laughs> but anyways, I, I want to take this channel in a direction where it's something that's fun for my family. I, you know, the channel, I've been doing things. It's mostly me, but I want to invite Beth and Rocker into the channel more and doing these camping, overlanding vlogging trips weekend trips things like that until we can get you know to the point to where we can go on big adventures um, i think that's going to be the best bet for us and i think it's going to be some really great content you'll kind of get to know me a lot better you'll get to know the family a lot better when we're doing these weekend vlogs you know every weekend trying to go somewhere new see something new uh, travel somewhere new um, and then also, you know, I'll have reviews on the tents. I'll have reviews on all this stuff that I'm gonna be putting on the truck. And that's gonna give not only the overlanders, uh, you know, some content here, that's gonna give the campers some content here. And it's even gonna give the frontier guys some content here, because there's just not a lot of it. And, um, you know, I mean, it's there, but it's not like there is with, uh, you know, tacos, Tacomas and, and frontier, or, uh, and jeeps and tundras and it's just not there and and i think it's a great possibility these trucks are super capable i mean this thing comes with rear lockers from the factory haven't had to use them yet can't wait till i do but um yeah i am super super excited uh be sure leave me comments down below if you guys have never subscribed to the channel right now would be a great time to do it because we're fixing to start this build i'm planning on having a tent within the next two maybe three weeks and uh, it's, start, it's gonna start cooling off. We're in the dead of summer right now in dog days. It's hot as crap. As soon as it starts cooling off, it's gonna be a perfect time to uh, go out and tent camp. Um, so 
If you guys haven't subscribed yet, you may want to consider doing so because we do some pretty cool things and they're about to get cooler, I can promise you that. If you do like the video, give me a thumbs up down below. Comment if you uh, if you have anything to say as long as we keep it nice. We're all respectable adults here. And uh, be sure to turn on the bell if you are subscribed. That way, every time I post a new video, you will be the first one to know about it and you can see how this truck is coming along and you get to go on all the adventures with us. So, um, without further ado, guys, I'm gonna get this truck, get back home, get up and go do the uh, work thing again tomorrow. You guys know how it is. But I just wanted to get you guys in here, give you an idea of where we're going with the channel, and I can't wait to get it started. So, Rocker, sign them out here, buddy. Um, If you don't know, I have a channel too, and, you, and if you haven't went there, you better go check my, my two videos out. And we're doing a video about my tooth, and... We're doing a f and we're doing a bunch more and we're doing a few more videos of when we are and we have edited them but we haven't put them on the channel yet and we need to do it. If Daddy, did you bring your computer? No, I didn't. But we'll get them up. So yeah. tell them, say, go check out Rocker's Adventures if you got kids and they like watching that stuff. Rocker's gonna start filming yeah, all of his adventures with us and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace. And, and you can go on the kids channel and I'll be on there too. There you go. Tell him. Say peace out. Peace out.